Hello, Fox 7 Austin Facebook fans. My name is Grant. I am a web producer with Fox 7, and I'm taking you for a live look at the University of Texas. Um, just moments ago, uh, University Police and APD announced that Mikhail Kreiner was named as the suspect and charged with uh, first-degree murder in the case of Haruka Weiser. Um, so I figured we would just head on over to UT campus and get some reactions and kind of see what the mood is over here. Uh, let me flip the camera around because I'm sure y'all don't want to see me. Uh, so here we are, right on the drag. Um, we'll head over to the, uh, the tower here in a minute uh, and see kind of what's going on over there. But uh, just wanted to stream live and uh, kind of see, see where everybody's head's at. Uh, maybe we can get some folks to talk to us. Um, I don't know. I don't know if anyone knows that they found and arrested uh, Mikhail Kreiner in connection with the uh, the Weiser uh, murder case. Um, I think they just announced it maybe maybe an hour ago. Um, I was back at the station uh, streaming it live, streaming the announcement live there. But um, yeah, let's just let's just walk around and, and see what we can see. Um, I'm actually a, a former UT student, so this kind of hits hits close to home for me. I wore my I wore my horns T-shirt today to show my support. Looks like they're selling something over here. Kind of Thai salad. I don't know what they're doing it for. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that you guys are able to ask questions. Oh no, thank you. I'm, stre I'm streaming you live on our Facebook channel right now. Oh, so, hi. Uh, so, actually, guys, um, y'all mind if I ask y'all a couple questions real quick? Sure. Well, I work with Fox 7 News uh, here in town, and uh, we were just streaming a press conference. Yeah, did y'all hear about the murder? Yes. Um, so they uh, they actually caught the guy. Um, did did y'all how how'd y'all hear about that? Did it just like like social media? I heard it from a friend that had watched the stream. Oh, really? So y'all got like notified or? Yeah. I don't know if that was sent to students or like back to members, but I got an email and then watched the Right on. Yeah, I was at the I was at the Fox Seven building about an hour ago, and we were streaming the press conference live over there. Um, yeah, they identified him as a, a guy named Mikhail Kreiner. Uh, he's like 17 years old, homeless guy. Um, do you, how does that make y'all feel? Do y'all do y'all feel safe when y'all are like walking around campus and stuff, or not for the past week? Not for the past week. I, I tried to avoid walking uh, at nighttime this last week. Yeah. Weekly. Wow. I actually feel consistently like my safety level is consistently like pretty low. Not just because like it's a dangerous campus, just because like as a small. <laughs> be aware of anything larger than you. Yeah. So it just it bothers me that it takes like such a bad thing for people to like realize that like oh yeah we yeah. do need to be safe. We don't need to be walking alone. We should have some sort of like more safety measures. Do you see those? Like I'm trying. I'm looking around right now. Those little police help boxes. There's one. It's way over there. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. There's some around. Do y'all like know where they are? Have you have you ever thought to like? So so you actually like. When I walk home when I'm studying out. Like I make sure to like when I'm near one, I like look to see where the other one is. So do you like plan your routes out accordingly, knowing like oh there's a box there, there's not a box there. Wow, that's interesting. All right. Well, I won't take up any more else time. I'd probably buy one of your. Your yummy treats here. If I if I wasn't streaming, maybe I'll come back later when I'm when I'm done. Yeah, we'll be here till three. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate y'all talking Thank to me. Thank you. So.
those are those are some students. Let's a, let's let's. I'm gonna walk over and get a closer look at those police help boxes that they have over camp, all over campus. Um, as I uh, as I come across them, I'll I'll try to point them out. Um, I remember when I was a student here, I would see them all over the place, but I never really never really took the time to you know memorize where they were or plan a route or anything like that. student organizations. Um, this is right below the tower. <laughs> uh, Joseph Alexandra asked how was she killed um, it sounds like, from the evidence we've received, that she was assaulted um, by uh, Mikhail Kreiner. Uh, we don't have much more details other than that at this time. It's a great day outside, man. It feels real nice out here. Got a looks like a school field trip going on over here. Hey, Hello. I'm streaming y'all live on the Fox Seven Facebook channel. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all want to wave hi to everybody? Hi, hi. I'm gonna be on hi, guys. Hi. Well, you're on right now. Hi, I'm on TV. Well, not on TV. You're on the internet. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I'm saying my well, name. I'm the president, and I made this whole okay. thing around here. All right, guys, y'all need to y'all need to pay attention to your teacher. Sorry. All right. I wonder what that was all about. I think their teacher got mad at me. So I'm just gonna keep streaming here. If anyone has. Yeah, uh, Eli, I will be walking over by where the um, the scene of the, the crime. Um, I'm heading over there shortly. It'll take a while to get there. It's a pretty far way away. Um, I see people taking selfies. I see the capital in the background. So it's a it's a it's a pretty active campus right now. It's it's 11:35. And so, my guess is, if it's anything like it was when I was a student, in about 10 minutes, 20 minutes, when class is let out, you're going to see a whole lot more people out walking around. Um, I'm, uh, I'm at the Six Pack right now, just a little north of it. I'm going to cross over to Speedway, and then from Speedway, I'll, I'll hit over by the fountain in front of the Fine Arts uh, building. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll just keep keep the tour going here. Um, I, I meant to, and I probably should have done this. I should have gone over to the drag and maybe talked to some folks over there. Um, just depending on how long I can keep my my phone battery going, um, maybe I can talk to some of the people that kind of hang out hang out on the drag that we Austinites lovingly refer to as drag rats. Kind of see what their where their heads at these days, and see see if see if this has kind of been a, a you know see just kind of see what they're going through, see see how they they've handled this and how they're reacting to it. Um, let's see here. I'm seeing I'm seeing some comments come in. Yeah, the 17 year old kid's name was Mikhail Kreiner. He was uh, the police say that he was a homeless. Um, a homeless man in his uh, 17 years old. They didn't go into much detail. Um, they said that they uh, they got a tip um, that came in on Monday, too. Actually, from um, one of one of the tips was from a, a I think it was a student. I, I I just know that it was a person that called in to report a fire, and uh, 
So they called in uh, a small fire and then Austin Fire Department responded. And uh, as it turns out, it was the suspect burning the belongings of uh, Haruka Weiser, you know, the backpack and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's how they, that's kind of how they piece things together. Um, just going to keep walking, walking east here, heading over to the fine arts area. It's an interesting comment there, Kimberly. I did, I did not know that. Um, uh, I'm sure that I'm sure that more details are going to just keep coming out as this as this kind of goes on. There's some guys playing guitar. I wonder if they'd want to talk to us. It looks like they're having fun. I don't want to I don't want to bring them down. Tank going on. It's probably going to get really loud. There's a car cement truck driving by here. Um, they I see your comment, Dustin and, and Joseph. I, I, I don't think that they've released that information to the public yet. Um, I myself don't know. Um, they, they haven't. They haven't released that info yet. There's another one of those police help boxes. So we're starting to make our way down to the the fountain. Um, I don't know how much of this they're going to have closed off. Um, I don't know, like I don't know how close they'll let me get. But um, there, I mean, there might even be people there on the scene. If, if there are, I'll, I'll ask some. I'll ask some questions. You know what? I'm going to go um, talk to some of these folks over here and kind of see where their head's at. Maybe someone will talk to us. I don't want to just shove a camera in someone's face and say, hey, talk to me, but... Um, Hello. I'm, I'm streaming live on Facebook right now, but I'm pointing the camera the other direction. Um, I work with Fox 7 News here in Austin, and I wanted to know if y'all wouldn't mind talking to me about the, uh, the murder case. No, thing. I don't want to talk don't about want it. To? Okay. All right. Well, sorry to interrupt, y'all. Okay. Yeah, they didn't want to talk. I, I kind of expected that reaction, um, and, I, and I can totally respect that. Um, so we'll just politely move on and and keep keep walking. right now it's for us to kind of pull together and you can see the uh, 
news media, satellite trucks and stuff all kind of parked up there. Uh, might even have one of our reporters over there. I can't remember if we've got someone here right now. I know that Noel was at the press conference earlier. I wonder if she'll be out here. So, some mounted police over there. So, if I'm not mistaken, this is the area where they found the body. Um, I'm not entirely sure exactly where. Looks like back in that direction they have things um, sealed off, so it's probably actually going to be more in that area. Like I said, I don't want to don't want to hinder any investigations or do any do anything or go anywhere that I'm not supposed to. And there's some policemen, so it's probably going to be back in that area. There's some policemen guarding. the way from the so as you can see it's it's I mean there's lights there's lights around in the area uh, I don't you know I'm not sure what it would be like at, at night I'm not seeing any of those call boxes anywhere nearby but you know Everything that I'm saying is complete speculation. I have, I have no, you know, details of any kind of um, what, what what happened. You know that kind of stuff. It looks like someone left some left some flowers here. Um, let's see what time it is here. So it's 11:44. I can see I can see Noel Newton. Across the way, it looks like her and our photographer Chris Combs are working on some stuff. Maybe I'll go chat, chat with her and see if they have any updates. Stadium. I don't know if you can tell. It's right back in there. Um, I'll get up closer over there here in a second. Yeah, there's Noel. Let's let her do her job. I don't want to interrupt her. So this whole area here along the creek, it's really. side along the the um, so that's the fine arts building right over there and then this creek goes all the way down Let's see if I can cross traffic here without getting in anybody's way there's UT Stadium so crossing back over Kind of more of this this area, and there's one of those police help police help boxes. Yeah, I know that Noel's going to go live at noon, 
and so it's about 15 minutes from that time. So let me just run over real quick and see if she's got a quick second to chat, see if they've got any more new info. Hey, Noel. I'm streaming live on Facebook right now. I've been walking all over the UT campus. Um, I've been out of the office for about 15 minutes. You got any anything new, anything anything more to, to report? Um, not really. Not really? So far. Well, yeah, we, I, basically, I basically just got on the bus and headed over right after we got the word that, that um, they named the suspect. And uh, I've just been walking around UT, getting reaction from like people, and uh, just kind of walked around the area back there. I think I'm going to head back up to the, um, to the drag now and just kind of talk to some folks over there. Okay. And if you want to go around the Flowers down. Oh, right on. By, um, yeah, we'll definitely head over there. The sure. Maybe, cool. No All right. Well, I, I won't interrupt or interrupt. Interrupt. That's right. I won't bother y'all anymore. Um, I know you'll have a live shot at noon, so y'all have a good one. So yeah, they're gonna they're gonna go live at noon. Uh, Amber asked, do I know if they have cameras over there? If not, they should invest so the students are safe. I do not know if they have cameras specifically there. I know they have cameras um, around campus. I just don't know if they specifically have them there. Um, and so I'm going to head over to where Noel said that this, this um, memorial has kind of been put together. The Alumni Center. You can see here the uh, stadium. like they have that. I don't know if that caution tape has anything to do with the investigation. More caution tape there. Like I said, I don't know if that has anything to do with the investigation. Looks like they've got a tour going on of potential future Longhorns. So we're just going to walk around the Alumni Center. Uh, I think there is a coffee shop back here, if I'm not mistaken. So, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to set this camera down for just a second. I've got another camera in my pocket. Um, I've got another camera in my pocket, and I'm going to uh, take a photo with it. Actually, I don't have to put this one down. It's a, it's a point and click kind of. Simple, easy to use. It's a it's a 360 degree camera, so when I take the photo, um, users are able to um, manipulate like the camera angle, and you know it's it's like Google Maps, but it's a photograph, and so um, we'll post that onto our uh, we'll post that onto our Facebook page later. Um, that way, if you want to kind of see where the area is, see what's going on. Yeah, here's that. Here's my camera here. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hold it up and take a couple photos. So, just point that to the sky. 
and just take a couple photos. Um, once again, I'm, I'm not suggesting that this is the area. I'm just saying that it's near the area. And like I said, there's the, there's the uh, coffee shop. Looks as if they've got it closed off back here, too. There's another policeman. Hello. We don't want to invade on people's privacy. Looks like some, some people are coming to pay their respects. Um, I work with Fox 7 here in Austin, and I'm streaming right now on our, our Facebook page. Yes, sir. I wanted to know if you would, wouldn't mind just talking to us for a little bit. No. Not at all? No. Um, well, I, I mean, you, you obviously know what this memorial is here for. Yeah. Um, we, we, we were streaming live um, just a moment ago, like an hour ago, um, the press conference that UTPD and, and the... Um, APD had where they named um, Mikhail Kreiner yeah. as the, the the suspect, and I was just wondering, like, um, do you feel safe here on campus? Does this does this yeah. like how are you feeling right now? I don't, I, I don't feel not safe. You know, it's not like there's someone out just looking for UT students in order to, you know, evil th to do evil things such as this to just another student. Yeah. And, um, I'll, I'll, I doubt the girl did anything. She was a sweet girl, but, you know, she was an evil person, wrong place, wrong time. Yeah. You know, I, don't, I don't feel unsafe walking around my campus. So, I, mean, I, I understand why people would. Do you have, like, friends that have told you that they feel unsafe? Yeah, or? yeah I, I mean, I, I have a, uh, one of my friends that's a girl, and she asked me to, like, walk her home the other day from the place we were at. She's like, hey, you want me home? I just... Yeah, I, I, you know, it just happened. It was like it was Wednesday, so it was the yeah. day after. You know, so wow. I don't understand. Yeah, just so it depends on who you are and how you feel. You know, if you feel if you don't feel safe, then you know that's just how you feel. Which I don't think anyone's out to get me or any of my friends. You know, right. just the poor girl. You know, some horrible. horrible are there person. Are, are, were were there lots of like rumors going around of like you know theories like. Or, or you know, were, were people talking about it in classes, or was it just kind of like? Oh, it wasn't any like because you know it's not like it's a conspiracy theory where it's this girl could have done something and this guy was out to get her. I think she was walking. You know, the guy was right, you know, right there. Probably saw some pretty girl walking yeah. alone, and you know, God knows what happened. But I mean, um, when I was a student here, um, like ten something years ago, fifteen years ago, it was it was uh, I graduated in. Uh, God, I don't even remember. I started in 99. Let's just put it that way. Well, we won't say when I graduated. <laughs> it took me a while. It took me a while. You were in the glory days. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, when I was in, when I was a student, um, I remember the, the A&M bonfire collapse happened. Yeah. And just the mood on campus was just, you could feel it. You could feel the before, you could feel the after. Um, do you kind of feel that now? Like, I, I was over... I was walking, you know, I've been recording for like 20 minutes. I asked one group of people, like, hey, would you feel like talking? And they were like, no. Um, do, do you feel like there's this this, there's this shadow like, kind of hanging over the campus right now? Exactly, I wouldn't say a shadow. I'd say more of it's like a, like a dim light. You know, like everyone feels for the girl. She's a fellow student. Everyone, you know, every, there was people, I had friends that came and to the, uh, the memorial type of candlelight thing that they had last night. We had something for her last night. And I have friends that had no idea who the girl was. You know, she's a fellow student though, and she was, you know, one of us. And they went and paid their respects. I couldn't make it. I had a bunch of stuff to do that. Yeah. Day, but 
you know, I wanted to go, I wanted to pay respects. He said, not like I knew the girl, I didn't know anyone that knew her or anything, you know, but I wanted to come and we all feel for the girl, we feel, feel for her parents, feel for her family, you know, and all feel awful. Well, I, I won't, I won't. I won't take uh, take up any more of your time. Um, I, I really appreciate you talking to us today. Yeah. And uh, um, yeah, I'm sorry that people keep swerving on me and stuff. It happens to everyone. I do it sometimes too, but you know, yeah, I, I'll, I'll take time on my day. Okay. All right. Well, you have a good one, man. Right, take care. Take care. That was a really nice guy. Um, I see the camera is kind of acting choppy here. I wonder if I'm about to lose you guys. Um, so, wow, my phone's getting hot in my hands. It's going to be a long walk, but I'm going to try to head back up to, um, I'm going to head back up to the drag. Hopefully we don't lose the signal. Um, I'm wondering if I should go back the way I came or take y'all down a different way. Yeah, it's almost noon, so I'm guessing the people are in a rush to get to their classes. Well, I don't, I don't know that for certain, but... Um, going here. Yeah, there's surveillance footage. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this because I don't have a zoom on my camera here. But uh, you see right underneath that, or right above that UPS truck, there is a camera um, on DKR. And I don't know if that camera was able to catch anything. Um, there are similar cameras on along the other side of DKR. Those might have been the surveillance cameras that captured the footage um, that helped lead to the uh, identification of the suspect. Um, let's just keep walking here. Excuse me. She is either live right now or right about to go live. It looks like she is live and she's reading her script as the video plays over her live shot. So tune in to Fox 7 right now and you can see her on TV. How's that for some meta? Yeah, I'm always scared to disrupt the reporters when they're when they're doing their live shots. I never it's easy in the studio because you can see their tally light, but out in the field, it sometimes is hard to tell when they're when they're actually live. So there's another police help box right there. You can hear the tower. I'm gonna put this camera right in someone's face. Graffiti. 
Uh, that was a big deal. I don't even think this building was here the last time I was uh, a student. You can see there's a lot of news media out and about. Student Activity Center with a it, um, Caroline was just asking me to recap how the suspect was caught. Um, I'll give you I'll give you the details as best as I know them. Um, the parts that I miss out or leave out, if if you guys could respond in the comments that would help out so um, a tip came in on Monday that um, the there was a fire uh, the suspect was burning um, like uh, the suspect Mikhail Kreiner was burning Haruka Weiser's belongings her backpack and uh, someone called in a tip that hey there's this fire um, and so Austin Fire Department responded to that scene um, where they, you know, I, I'm assuming they make contact with, with the suspect and um, the, you know, descriptions kind of matched up for everybody. And so, um, like I said, <laughs> I don't know all the details. This, this investigation is still ongoing. So there's a lot of, a lot of questions that people are having right now. And, and uh, w w once we get all those details, we'll definitely be posting them on our website, fox7often.com. So, um, so that's that's as, as much as I know right now. And you'll have to excuse me. I'm a I'm a nerdy web guy, and I don't have the reporter polish that. Someone just got dunked in the in the dunking booth. So you know, campus life is still kind of still kind of going on, um, but I can I can definitely sense like a tension kind of. I mean, I guess. You could say that's probably because I'm walking around with a cell phone like a tourist filming everything. I don't want to get run over by this cyclist. Okay, so I'm making my way back up to the to the tower. I'm gonna to go west of the tower and then get on Guadalupe and walk walk up up and down Guadalupe. See if maybe we can get some folks to talk to us. I think they lit the tower up um, last night. I'm not sure if it was last night or the night before. Yeah, I'm seeing TJ's comment there about LifeWorks. I personally haven't confirmed that with anyone. Um, I'm sure if that is the case, it'll be made public, and and that'll be that'll be all put together. Um, I was reading some uh, some posts on Reddit yesterday, and it was about. Um, it was about this case, and, and, and some, some Redditors were reminding people to kind of keep calm and, and not do any Reddit detective work. They were reminding people about the Boston 
the Boston bombings and kind of how things got a little out of hand with, you know, citizen police work and kind of outing the wrong people. So I'm always hesitant to say, you know, see a comment and say, oh, yeah, that's exactly what happened until we can confirm it with authorities. But some people, some people are saying that, that stuff about life works and we'll just have to find out if that story checks out. Once again, here's the, the tower where they have all kinds of um, UT events and things. I think someone, I think I read earlier before I came out that the last time that there was a murder on campus, it was when Charles Whitman um, took the life of so many people when he was on top of that, that very tower, um, which this year is going to be, I believe, the 50th anniversary of that event. So it's kind of eerily disturbing. Um, anyway, out of breath, can you tell? <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's an uphill climb from back where we were. Oh, no, thank you. Xander wants to know how the teachers teach. I don't think they'd like me wandering into their classrooms with my camera rolling. There's the famous Cactus Cafe, a place where you can go get a, a beer while on campus. Sure, if it's the only place where you can legally drink on campus, they have some uh, lots of live musicians come in there, and I guess live music going on in there. Kind of an Austin institution. All right, so we made our way back to Guadalupe. guys a look hopefully the traffic doesn't drown out all the audio the streets changed a lot over the years um, yeah I'm seeing y'all's comments um, there have been other cases of, of murder around uh, the UT campus, um, but this one was actually on campus. Um, there, I think there's been a couple actually on campus or near nearby. you guys saying you miss Texas. Man, it is a beautiful day out today. The weather's kind of perfect. I'm sure it'll get to get up to 100 here in no time. All right, let's see. Which direction do I want to go here? Let's hang a right. Now, if I talk to some of these folks and they say a bunch of crazy stuff, keep in mind that I cannot control what other people say.
believe I've done this for 44 minutes. This is my longest, longest live stream. The 23rd Street Artists Market. And there's lots of murals and people selling their wares. Um, the site of many a many a drum circle over the years. Um, let's head back the other direction and see if we can't find someone to talk to. co-op where you can go buy all of your UT gear and very expensive textbooks. There's the UFCU Credit Union. My bank. So we're, we're going to walk by the site of lots of different stories over the past couple of months. Uh, I think it was maybe two weeks ago that there was a, a UT student that started a, a uh, it was part of a project they were doing about like, I think like civic responsibility and they were trying to, they were making a petition for, for part of their project and their petition was let's replace the Scientology uh, building with an HEB. And it got tons of support, but uh, it was only for like a homework assignment. It wasn't re like a real petition, but after it got so much support, uh, it kind of turned into a real thing. But I, I don't, I don't think they have the <laughs> power or ability to do anything like that. And then uh, a couple of months back, also, someone uh, crashed their car into the Scientology building. Um, yeah, we've got those stories up on our website, Fox 7 Austin. If you probably just go to our site and search for Scientology, you'll, you'll see you'll see them. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to stay and linger too long and film on them. I, I'm getting the sense, you know, and I've been out here for a while now, I'm getting the sense that people don't like it when you film them. Hey guys, I work, with, I work with a news station and I'm I'm streaming right now on our website. Would y'all like to talk to me for just a little while? What do you want to hear? What do you want to hear? I just wanted to talk to y'all. Have y'all heard about this guy that they, they announced today that murdered that UT student? Yes. Yes. Yeah. What's up with that? Um, y'all mind if I'm recording right here? Y'all mind if I shoot y'all? Um, um, so basically they announced uh i think on monday they announced that a ut student was murdered yes. and she was uh, a freshman dance student Dang and it, well they they announced today that uh a guy by the name of Mik mikhail kreiner was uh named as the suspect he was a 17 year old kid that was homeless and i'm just wondering if y'all y'all know, know him or have heard of him or i've heard of him and now that it's been broadcasted that he's his name and whatnot, now everybody and their brother knows him. It was he's best friends. In the, he's in the win. I've seen him a couple of times, but just like I've seen him a couple of times, and I've seen him a couple of times. Yeah. It, I mean, they come and go, they but now that it's in, in the win, he's going to disappear. He probably, probably went to Dark Spring. Where everybody else he's still around? Now. He's still at large? No, they captured him. Yeah, I thought they captured him. Right. Yeah, they got him. Oh, they got him? Yeah, they got him. Well, they're good. They, they got him. Then shoot his bitch ass. <laughs> well, thanks for talking to me today, guys. I appreciate it. Y'all okay, so have a good one. So, those are some 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 guys here on the on the drag. 
Um, just wanted to talk to him for a little bit. I'm trying to trying to kind of set the scene of what it's like here on the University of Texas to kind of give you a give you a perspective of what the students are kind of going through right now and and um, you know that that kind of reaction and, and you know it's it's I don't want to say it's non-typical or that it is typical but that you know I was the one that asked them to talk they didn't you know bug me or, or come over and you know panhandle or anything so I, I thank them I thank them for their time um, so moving on um, that right there is the I think the Adobe building and um, we're getting to a point now where it's kind of you know, traditionally viewed as off-campus. Um, people who know know that this is Daniel Johnston, an often icon. This is his famous mural. So, up ahead is a bus stop, and I'm going to hop on it, and I'm going to head back to the office. And this about wraps up my... Um, this about wraps up my trip to the drag, to the University of Texas. Um, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, we will have much more on all of this on our website, fox7austin.com. And we'll have much more on our news. That'll be um, today at 5, 9, and 10. And if you are watching from out of the uh, state or out of Austin, and you still want to kind of keep up with what's going on, you can watch our newscast on our website too. And that's going to be fox7austin.com slash video slash live. And obviously, we've got plenty of those links on our website too. So, um, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, I wish I could just keep streaming all day long. Uh, it's a great day outside, but um, got to get back to the office. So, thanks for watching everyone. Welcome horns.